The celebrated chef appears in Roadrunner. A film about Anthony Bourdain the revelation that a documentary filmmaker used voice cloning software to make the late chef Anthony Bourdain say words he never spoke has drawn criticism amid ethical concerns about use of the powerful technology. The movie Roadrunner. A film about Anthony Bourdain. Appeared in cinemas Friday and mostly features real footage of the beloved celebrity chef and globe-trotting television host before he died in 2018. But its director, Morgan Neville, told The New Yorker that a snippet of dialogue was created using artificial intelligence technology. That's renewed a debate about the future of voice cloning technology. Not just in the entertainment world but in politics and a fast-growing commercial sector dedicated to transforming text into realistic-sounding human speech. Unapproved voice cloning is a slippery slope. Said Andrew Mason, the founder and CEO of Voice Generator Descript, in a blog post Friday. As soon as you get into a world where you're making subjective judgment calls about whether specific cases can be ethical, it won't be long before anything goes. Before this week, most of the public controversy around such technologies focused on the creation of hard-to-detect deepfakes using simulated audio and or video and their potential to fuel misinformation and political conflict. But Mason, who previously founded and led Groupon, said in an interview that Descript has repeatedly rejected requests to bring back a voice, including from people who have lost someone and are grieving. It's not even so much that we want to pass judgment, he said. We're just saying you have to have some bright lines in what's okay and what's not. Angry and uncomfortable reactions to the voice cloning in the Bourdain case reflect expectations and issues of disclosure and consent, said Sam Gregory, Program Director at Witness, a nonprofit working on using video technology for human rights. Obtaining consent and disclosing the techno wizardry at work would have been appropriate, he said. Instead, viewers were stunned. First by the fact of the audio fakery, then by the director's seeming dismissal of any ethical questions, and expressed their displeasure online. It touches also on our fears of death and ideas about the way people could take control of our digital likeness and make us say or do things without any way to stop it, Gregory said.